feel like sounding like Ed Sullivan when I see Welcome to the Show. Welcome to the big show. <laughs> Remember they used to do that on ESPN too. Remember that? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm digging the new uh, the new intro. I like Funny. that, huh? Pretty stuff. I, do. Pretty good stuff. I know. I, I thought do. so. We switched absolutely. it up a little bit. We have a new outro too. You guys will see that later on. So hopefully you'll enjoy that as well. Because as yeah. you're well aware, Rick and I had a a very eventful weekend. So yes, we did. There's a lot to take in. This is probably part one of three parts of uh, our festivities. Yeah. But um, you know, it was a, it was a hell of a time through through like postman through rain through sleet through cold. Didn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> we Everybody had us a out. time, Tony. We had us a time. <laughs> oh, did we ever? I mean, so it was good stuff. Um, as everybody knows. Was Rocky Day was, was where we were the day before we we're in Philly. Uh, coming back, we were chatting with some people that we had met, so it was nice to see faces to names that we never met before. Yeah. Um, but we have a very nice surprise today. I don't even want to bother chatting anymore. Let's just get this person out. Oh, right, you don't you want know. to talk to us. You and I talk all the time, <laughs> I know, right? Now, uh, the gentleman, the gentleman that we're bringing on, uh, uh we I've known, I've known him for five years now, I think, and uh. You know, it's funny, you used to be Instagram friends, then you become more than that, which is nice, and finally get to meet each other a handful of times or a couple of times. But um, it's very, uh, anybody in the Rocky land, this person needs no introduction to who he is. But those that are not familiar, which, you know, a lot of people don't know the Rocky world, so I get it. Um, he's okay. done a lot more than Rocky in, in, his, in his career. So I, basically, without further ado, let's bring on Mr. John Rivoli. Yeah, yes, sir. Hey guys, and there he is, hey John. How are you, John? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Doing well, my I friend. Thank you painting. so much for coming on, man. Yeah, the original. There it I is. I love that painting. That's on my Christmas list for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite one too that I ever yeah, did. Is it beautiful? Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite. Beautiful. I know work. you keep it up, man. I'm gonna have to build an addition to the house and just keep, you know, getting <laughs> wall space. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's tough yeah. there's so many but yeah um, anyway you know i mean so people that <clears throat> excuse me know know the rocky world know john john is uh an accomplished artist in a lot of ways um he went to fit fashion institute technology in new york i know he also studied in italy uh florence i believe john yes wow. that's right polymoda yeah okay. yep that's right um so uh why don't you give us a little background on how you go from, let me put this up without embarrassing you, but how do we go from a fanboy, which that could be possibly the greatest picture I've ever seen. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Yeah, fanboy to colleague. I think I'm like eight years old there. Um, That's awesome. roughly something and like that. I had that. that poster in my basement. That is awesome. Yeah. That was, I remember that I won that poster. Oh, on really? The, on the boardwalk in Seaside Heights, New Jersey. That's where oh I got that God. poster. Nice. Shout out to the Jersey Shore. There do you, you still go. have that poster? I do. Oh, that's even You better. do? I do. Wow. I Good for you. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I don't, John. That's why I bought yours right here. Because <laughs> I don't have that poster any longer. And I wanted yeah. it so bad. That's what that's I looked at when I painted that piece. That's what I you know, was looking at as I was painting uh -huh. okay. that actual poster. So, yeah. I mean, so, I, was eight, wow. I was eight years old in that poster. Uh, that, that was... 76 right mm -hmm. when it came out and yep. um you know i had seen it my my brother took me to go see that movie my brother's older and he took me to go see that movie and uh i mean i just was going nuts i was going bananas when i saw this movie it was the coolest thing you know yeah. one arm push-ups and the music yeah. you know it was the first time we saw this kind of cool like training getting ready getting pumped for something <laughs> it really yeah. wasn't in movies before that you know, right. Sly kind of, he, he really created that genre that became our thing. You know, it's yeah. guys, that was our thing. The training montage. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and I, I saw it in the movie theater 13 times. I saw the original. <laughs> wow. Down, down in wow. Lava, New Jersey. Yeah. I, re I recently went back to where that theater <laughs> used to be. It's a real estate office now, but uh, I went to go visit that theater where I went to go see it all those years ago. And I was just fascinated and I started drawing them right away. I, I, I was drawing everything in those days. Oh, um, okay. Everything and, and everything that I would see on TV of the, you know, 13 channels that we had. Um, yeah. I would right. watch something. I would, I would record it, you know, the recorder with the two button, 
recorder things. Yeah. I would oh, yeah. record a show like King Kong versus Godzilla, for yeah. instance. I would record it. And then after it was over, I'd draw a graphic novel of it oh to match God. up with the, with the audio so that I could turn the pages and kind of rewatch it again. That's, and I, that is amazing. That's so cool. Yeah, that so is- I would do that with Elvis movies and Abbott and Costello, all, you know, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, all that yeah. stuff. I would draw books of them because okay. you couldn't record them in those days. You couldn't right. DVR or sure. record them yeah. or anything. So that was my way of yeah. kind of revisiting it. And, um, and I guess, you know, just honing the skills the whole time. So I just kept drawing sure. and drawing and drawing. Um, so I, that's why when people ask me today, when they see a painting, they're like, how long does it take you to do that? I always say a lifetime. Sure. This has been a full sure. lifetime of me kind of preparing for this and a lifetime of studying Rocky and drawing him since a little boy. All that comes through when I'm mm-hmm. doing a painting or a piece. Sure. So, um, you know, how do you go from that to becoming the official Rocky artist? I guess the in between there is, you know, I have a design agency. Rivoli Design Group here in New York, and I've been working for the movie studios for over two decades. And I work on film and television, doing artwork in many different areas, whether it's marketing, movie posters, uh, artwork for consumer products. So when you Mm -hmm. see stuff in the stores in Walmart or Target and you see all those characters on packaging and shelves, I'm Mm -hmm. the guy who drew most of that stuff. I drew most of that art. Yeah. Okay. I used to, when people wanted to see my portfolio, portfolio, I used to say, "Go to the toy aisles and Target, and just look at the <laughs> that, then you'll see it." That's awesome. I drew everything for SpongeBob for the first fifteen years. I drew that cartoon, mm. everything on it. Okay. On Harry Potter since the first film, all the DC stuff, Batman versus Superman, uh, the Marvel stuff, all all that stuff that uh, you know we worked on, and all those different aspects that I mentioned. Um, and, you know, the thing that broke me into that industry, and we talked about this a few minutes ago, was the vector artwork. Yes. Yeah, I'm really yeah. interested to hear about this. Yeah, because when I started in the business, there were no computers. We were right. doing everything by hand with markers. That's how we were doing artwork. And were you doing the flip books too? Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. All that stuff. And we would, we would do everything by hand. You would do a Mickey Mouse. You would paint them with the brush, sure. just a line, and then you'd paint the colors. And so that's how we did it back in those days. <clears throat> no computers. And then the computer came and we were all starting to get excited to figure out what was what. And um, I worked closely with Adobe to develop the, what they call the pen tool. Mm-hmm. So what that does, it allows you to plot vector points okay. on your, on your uh, graphic or your page, whatever you're working on. Because I knew if I had that tool, I could emulate what I've been doing by hand, but in yeah. the computer, because what okay. we would do when the computers came, we were still doing it by hand, but then we'd scan it and bring it into the computer and use okay. it. But there were a lot of problems with that. You'd get little mm-hmm. artifacts and things that were on the scan, but it wasn't mm-hmm. clean, mm-hmm. you know, and it was what you'd call a bitmap image, which mm-hmm. is Photoshop. Oh, Photoshop right. is bitmap. Bitmap right. just yeah. means everything is based on resolution, mm-hmm. you know, 72 DPI, or 300 DPI, you guys know the difference. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Vector takes that out of the equation. Vector is not based on DPI at all. So whatever I create has flawless reproduction. So if I draw a Mickey Mouse on Mm -hmm. the computer, it can be blown up to fit on the Empire State Building and look perfect and look perfect. With, With no distortion. No distortion, it holds. That's amazing. Yeah, so that's what I did is I developed the ability to create animated characters in the computer with that tool, and it's called vector artwork. So I was right. the first to do that and went out and introduced it to all the studios, and they, right. their heads were kind of blown, like they didn't understand. <laughs> and that's how I got in. So I started working on with every studio on all of their characters because I was the guy who could do it as vector. Sure. Now a lot of people do it, but I still – I'm kind of the go-to for a lot of the studios because oh, yeah. sure. and see, I had the ability because I did it by hand, I could still make it look like it was done by hand in the computer. Cause I know where the pressure was on the brush. Right. You press it. Oh, wow. the younger people today who only did it in the computer don't have that ability. There's so, slight nuances. 
yes. in your painting. And then, you know, whether you're using a number, you know, you're using, a, a, it's been a while with the, the different uh, pencils, yeah. you know, it's been a while since I've picked up those pencils, but I know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right. In, the different in line the, weights. In yes. The, it, yes. What's pretty cool the, about it though also, Rick, is that it, it, it goes back to the roots of it. Now, obviously, the, yes. the digital, the digitizing of it makes it, you know, like you said, on the impress table thing, but you, you're still going back to your roots where you know how to pressure this or know how to thin that, and you're still thinking back to when you use a brush or a pencil or a marker. Yeah, That's absolutely. Amazing. Yeah, Very that was cool. the whole point. That was my selling tools, and I said, listen, it will, you'll still think I did it by hand when mm -hmm. I give you this file. You know, that was the whole point. Mm -hmm. So we started doing it for everything. And then when these theme parks started coming up in the last 10 years, that's when we really got called upon because okay. they needed big art. They needed big art now. Yeah. And the Photoshop stuff couldn't do it. So here I come. I'm like, I can do it. You know, so we did <laughs> every single piece of art that's in Abu Dhabi at Warner World, we did every piece. And some of them are like, you know, 300 feet tall. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. but. So we did everything there. We did everything in Brazil at the Hopi Haru uh, theme park. We did everything at the Mall of America for Nickelodeon Universe or whatever it is. All mm -hmm. that stuff you see with Dora the Explorer and SpongeBob, that's all us. Because we could, wow. we could create art that can go into large installations. So that was the claim to fame. Can I, can I take this one step further and yeah. ask you this question then? Is with the vector and the, the points, okay, I know I saw a video of you talking about using the 3D imaging for some of the Rocky sculptures that you've been working on. Yeah. So you're starting to delve into that next layer of 3D. Well, it's bit. funny because the vector, we did take it to the next step because we also started before CGI was a thing. We were doing this before okay. the first Toy Story, okay? okay? And then Toy Story comes out. And now you got a whole other challenge. Yeah. Well, how do you make that stuff vector? That's a whole different thing. To make line art is one thing, like coloring book. When I say line art, think of a coloring book. Yes, yes. Flat, black and white, mm -hmm. and then you fill in the color. That's one thing. But to do this CG rendered thing as vector, that was a challenge. Oh, yeah. Which I solved because I had this patented technique I call 2.5D. So it's somewhere between 2D and 3D, but it looks exactly like the CG, but it's all vector. So the files are small, small oh, file cool. size, but you can blow those suckers up to put them on a bus or whatever you want. Okay. So that was the next step. So I do the 3D already. Now with the sculpts, that's a whole other thing. The, the guys you're talking about for Sly Stallone Shop. So they have yeah. a great artist overseas in Italy. They have two okay. really fabulous artists who do the actual 3D stuff. Uh-huh. But I'm, I do all the overlays over them. Right, right. To show where the eyes are maybe off a little bit. Let's fix yeah. the mouth. So now you're talking about the the uh, the figures, correct, John? Yes, These the actual, here. those guys. Yeah, so that yeah. head, that's my head right there. Right. Yeah, so so they, they did it first and then sent it to me and then I went to work. And then because I know Sly's face so well as that yeah. character, I can tell you where it's wrong, if it were wrong. Right? And, right. and it was a little off here and there. And you guys have seen other figures from other oh, sure. You see what's going on. Yeah. yeah. So, so we didn't want that to happen. And I didn't want that to happen. And I partnered with Nick Cordasco and we just went to town. So he and I together work on those heads until they are perfect. And yes. if you could see how many of them we've done before we got <laughs> what you just showed, I mean, you can't even imagine how many iterations of that head and the eyes and the mouth and the mm -hmm. shoes and everything we did until we got it just right. Because Nick, to his credit, man, he is all about accuracy, like Good. a million percent accuracy to the film. So he and I kind of push each other, which okay. is it's a good partnership. That's and awesome. again, those most of the people out there that follow Rocky Land uh, know Nick. Um, that's Nick there with John. And yeah. he uh, is the co-founder of the Sly Stallone shop. So he's a, a huge reason why we have all of these wonderful items now that we're getting that are so accurate and nice quality. And, and you know, everybody yeah, loves yeah. to wear them because let's face it, there's been things out there for a long time, but yeah. they've been garbage. Right. Mm -hmm. And he's a great guy. 
I have to say. He, I've got to know him really well over the past few years. What a great guy. Good. Um, and it's That's good really that awesome. he, the right guy is in the spot because, like I said, it's all about accuracy, you know, mm -hmm. especially with these fans. My gosh. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, this the thing we just put up earlier. I mean, it looks like a photo. Yeah, it, it looks does. like somebody it looks like a behind the scenes photo that yeah. somebody snapped the slug. And I just took that picture. I took that picture in the shop. Yeah. I just took out my phone and just a quick shot. So that's not like staged or airbrushed. Right. That is just took out my phone, took a shot. It came out good. So we've been using it. Yeah. But that's just that just goes to show you how strong that figure is. I you know it's amazing. And then the other the one they released earlier, the lone shark yeah. one. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, look at that. I mean, oh. it's just beautiful. Yeah, looks just Beautiful like them. Stuff. Tony, that's awesome. the one I want you to buy me. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll put it on the Christmas list. There you go. It's on my Christmas list, Tony. <laughs> so, John, you had mentioned the Sly Stallone shop, obviously, and we all, everybody in Rocky Land knows of that. It's been around now for five years. Yeah. Um, and I remember when it first started, there was like six shirts or something to choose from. Yeah. I remember trying to argue with myself. Should I get the Italian flag one or the American flag one? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> get, get both of them. What the, and now, now look what it's blossomed into. I mean, yeah. can, you, can you dwell on that a little bit? I mean, I know you had some stuff with the Rambo uh, artwork. Can you yeah, discuss uh, some more what's going on with yeah. the Slice of Life Up and where that's headed? Yeah, sure. I mean, look, um, you saw the action figures. So obviously I'm doing the artwork for those boxes for all of them. Uh, you know, Cobra, Rambo, and all the Rocky stuff, and there's a lot more coming. And and that's actually how I started, is was doing the box art, you know? Right. Um, okay. And then it's grown, you know, obviously into the other areas. But, um, you know, uh, Nick had the concept of creating the John Rivoli collection, which okay. is what they're doing now, which is going to be coming out soon. So if you go to their site, you'll see a tab for it, the John Rivoli collection. So he's handpicking... Mm -hmm some of my paintings oh, that he's going to put on shirts. Nice. Oh, yes. yeah. Nice. Yeah. I so remember I asked you about the Butkus one. I, I was yeah. like, I would love to have a shirt with that. My younger daughter loves the Butkus, loves the dogs. Yeah. That's it's perfect to have something like well, that. That's, on a shirt. that's one of them. I actually wore that shirt at the Rocky run. So nice. I, I had a prototype of it. So, nice. uh, yeah. So that's what they're doing now, which I think is, is really exciting. It's a really cool thing because a lot of people have asked me over the years if it if the art was ever going to be on tees, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, that's not what I do. But these guys are. So it's a perfect partnership. Good. That's yeah. Awesome. That's, no, I agree. I mean, I understand it's not something that you might have uh, promoted before, but but along with the shop, I think it's I, you're right. I think it's a perfect pairing. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Great stuff. Now, yeah, you yeah. just said that you wore that shirt at the Rocky Run. Um, we have you here signing some of the uh, Rocky Run uh, specialty 10, 10 year anniversary uh, yeah. poster there. Yeah. So, want to chat with what it's like to be at the Rocky Run? I mean, this thing, I heard this year there was the most people that they've ever had. Yeah, there were um, over 14,000 people were there this year. Wow, and, damn. And, and to give you some perspective, like last year we were. I think just under 9,000. So it's oh, a wow. major, major leap. Um, and I've been doing it for a few years now. And it is, um, it's a phenomenal event. It's a, such a well-run event. The organizer of that, Nate Barnhart, who runs it. Um, I mean, this guy is just a master at running events. When I, when I watch them nice. go into production of like taking this blank space and before you know it, it's like transformed into this event space and even you know in front of the rocky steps in the oval i watch yeah. that it's like bare when i get there and then when i turn around it's just it's just set up for the whole <laughs> event with all the different you know tents and everything else it's an incredibly run event and i mean it's it's wonderful because all the rocky fans come out so you know we're all kind of under one roof per se yeah. and it is just a wonderful time because you know everybody's got a story you know, you sure. guys know that everybody's got a story and they want to tell it. So uh, I get to hear a lot of fantastic yeah. stories. They all want to tell me, you know, and I'm happy to listen. I love those stories. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I take a picture with every one of them. So it's a wonderful event. And my favorite part really is the kids. 
You know, yeah. there's so many kids that the families bring with them and they're the, these little Rocky fans. They get it. They know it already. <laughs> you know, and it's just it's so fun for me. I have a TV set up on my table showing different videos and clips and the kids are just glued to it. Oh, you know, my God. Get these little kids glued like Sly would love it. If he, sucks. <laughs> he loves anything with the kids. Yeah. Rocky. So I always tell them there's some good parenting going on out there. Very good. Absolutely. I, agree. I couldn't agree with you more. It's generational. Yeah. I mean, it really yeah. is. It's generational. For it's, sure. It's, it's the story that's told is something that is of comics superheroes. I mean, it yeah. really is. Batman's been around. Superman's been around. Right. Rocky's going nowhere. Right. Yeah. Exactly. It's going to stand the test of time. It's going. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just going to be there. For sure. You know, and as long as we keep on passing it down. Yeah, we got to keep who it, don't, keep oh it going. Oh, my God. And yeah. That, that poster you showed, that was a huge hit. That's the first time I've done that. You know, the or Nate asked me to do that. So it was such a success. We're going to do it every year. We're going to do an exclusive piece of art just for the run. Oh, nice. An exclusive one. Yeah. So we're working on it now already. We're already That's working on cool. it. Rick, yeah. I guess we got to start booking some hotels every year now. We I know, <laughs> right? And like you said earlier, Tony, I, I haven't have... been to it in Philly, and you guys know I do it down here in Florida when I when I get the virtual medal and stuff. But yeah, uh, I, 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 you should see it in Philly, I, I uh, go. Tony. It, it is it is really a thing to see, you know, because race day. Sure. You know, we set we're there at like four in the morning. You wow. set your alarm for right. three. We're there at four, getting it all set up, and people start coming uh, in, and the light starts coming up over the museum you, you <laughs> see it starting to illuminate and they're blasting rocky music already oh and yeah the city is shut down like there's no cars nothing it's just us it's truly rocky land for oh, that day. Awesome. so if you're like you have to, and, and there's people dressed up as paul is tommy yeah. morrison you know of course rocky and draw all these people in 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 cosplay walking around it is yeah. really it is really something fun i saw some say. pictures people had the big heads yeah <laughs> yeah no it yeah. is really something to to behold it really is that's awesome that's yeah. awesome well i'm glad to hear about the poster that's going to be every year because yeah. uh i loved it i thought it was fantastic looking i mean it's going to be great yeah. tenure so now yeah, every we, year that's awesome. i'm going to send you guys your posters so oh i'm going to uh, build more yeah, tony like you said <laughs> we're going to have to build more walls <laughs> serious i have like a, a maze I down here horrible. like i got i got space i got space over here <laughs> that's my Rocky versus Drago, but it doesn't fit there. I got to move this up. Uh, but you know, it's a puzzle. You got to just you know figure out how these to right it here. Up. Bingo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, John, you and I kind of talked about that when I ordered them. They're my well birthday presents. Yeah. From, from my uh, wife, and those are you come down the stairs. They're right there. You know, yeah. The first thing people see. Yeah, I love that. That ring piece you have behind oh, you i know sly my, loves that. he he posted that one immediately when i sent it to him I was my like, oh my god i'm not ready for this you know he posted it yeah. and um i was immediately like i sold the original painting within minutes yeah, yeah some guy drove down from connecticut to get it wow i'm just like yeah i want it so nice yeah, yeah. i love that i always get this yeah confused. i love that piece i so love John, that does, piece. does uh does sly have any input oh i know he has some input obviously but so how do you choose your pieces you're going to do like when, what's it what's going on in your head where you say okay i just did this one i want to look into this scene yeah. in this film or whatever yeah. it may be or or does sly suggest to you hey let's do something from three or how, how does that process work if you could let us know yeah i mean it's kind of like what what you said where i'm just kind of exploring and it's actually the longest part of doing a piece is coming up with what it's going to be the concept you know okay um because i don't want it to be so obvious either mm -hmm. um i like to call it first bus i never take the first bus i let that bus drive by i let <laughs> the second bus drive by i like to get on the third bus or so so whatever my concept is I'm like, okay, but if I thought of it, somebody else had to think of it. So let's forget mm -hmm. that. Let's go deeper. What else can we do? So the hard part is just exploring down to find that thing, you know, that maybe hasn't been done before, mm -hmm. hopefully hasn't been done before, or I can reverse looking at it. Right. So I love probably, when you do that. Oh, I yeah. Love so that. You probably saw the newest one that I did that with, I Shall Rise, yep. which I'm so, so happy with that piece. Because I love round 14. It's my favorite moment. 
of any movie. Actually, it's my favorite moment. And so now I've got like six paintings of round 14 because I keep going back into it. But I really was always fascinated with, um, you know, that priceless look on Apollo when he's yeah. like, this guy. I mean, what, what am I going to do with this guy? You know, he just won't stop coming. <laughs> and, he just won't, he just won't I, stay down. I wanted to see what he what he was in his sight line. What exactly was he looking at? You know, so I wanted to make sure that Rocky was just giving him that look, you know, like looking mm -hmm. right at him that I'm coming back, man. I'm coming right back up and at you, you know. So I, I remember I, I finished that piece. I, I sketched it first and I sent it to Sly. Just to kind of get his input, you, you you know, do you think this is a good idea? And he, he's like, oh, it's a brilliant idea. Okay. So then I went and painted it and I sent it to him. And, and I remember he wrote uh, something like, you captured in one piece what Rocky stands for. Yeah, in that one, wow. one painting, you know, wow. where he puts his hand on that rope and he's looking right at Apollo with no fear and is just pushing himself up, you mm -hmm. know. And that, that's really rocky. So I was just, um, I was so happy with that piece. And mm -hmm. that's the kind of thing that I do, you know. So, so to answer your question, like it took me a while to get to that, you know, because I'm like, I want to go back into 14. I want to find something, you know, something else. I already reversed it so we could see Apollo's ribs getting crushed. We want to see his fate. Like I'm always kind of changing around. So I was, that, that's kind of the thing. If I could find that third bus idea, then I'm golden. You know, because like, a, like a subtlety that, you know, like you said, that people overlook or whatever, and you just find that little nuance in there. You know, one yeah. of the one of the ones is like Rocky Five, when he's just stand, after he throws his coat down and he's just standing there. You know, yeah, it, it's just a subtlety that just makes your want to stand up. You know, yeah. and just get going. Yeah, you know, I mean, one of the most impactful things well, I hear. Some of the from fans when I do a piece like I just talked about, I shall rise, you know, is they, they say that um, it feels like they're seeing Rocky for the first time again. Yeah. You know, because they're mm -hmm. getting to see it, something they haven't seen that's in the shot. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying not to just copy pictures. Mm -hmm. Sure. Basically anybody can do. I'm trying to go way deeper than that. I do do it like Rocky three. It's so famous. You got to do it. Rocky and Adrian behind you. Talk. Like there are certain things that yeah. you have to do. Out of yeah, pure respect, sure. you have to do, you know. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> and I still try to, you know, flip them around a little bit and do stuff to them. But um, well, for anybody that know, hasn't I, seen uh, Rise yet, I'm sorry to interrupt you, John. But yeah, there's, that's uh, awesome. There it yeah, is. Look, look at him looking at Apollo. Yeah. And look at Apollo. I got him. He's like a uh, like a gladiator, like a warrior, just standing over. He looks so powerful, you know. Yeah, he is. And that was that was one of the things when you said you went to the movies when you were eight. Well, I was ten when I went and I saw Rocky with my dad, and that scene where where Apollo shakes his head. Yeah. I'm ten years old. I didn't even have any experience in life yet, and I looked <laughs> at my father and I said to him, "I go look at him. He's saying no. He doesn't even want to go after him anymore." Right. Like, Oh, it's just such a, it was such a memorable, impressionable moment. Like you said, that whole round 14 moment and that there that we don't see, yeah. it's just, uh, oh, it sums it up. Beautiful. Yeah. I try to do those things that aren't, aren't seen because, you know, that's one of the things I learned while I was in Italy going to going, I learned how to paint in Italy. That's really where I learned how to paint. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, at the most amazing instructors and we were surrounded by the greatest artwork that's ever been done oh, yeah. ever. You can see every stroke of it right in front of you, Do you know, you and that's where I learned that, you know, art should be life, but better, but mm -hmm. better. We should bring something to it. So it's not about copying the thing. It's not about that. That's not art. That's just reproducing, you know, but if you could bring yeah. something to it, make, make a person stop and look at it and hopefully show them something they've never seen before and make them mm -hmm. think about it, then that's art. Yeah. You know, that's the whole point of it. And what is kind of my North Star is that I'm always trying to find that thing so people will say, I've never seen that. I didn't think about that, you know, right. the way you did that. that. That's the goal for me. And every so often I achieve that, you know, and that's that's the big shining moment. Who was your uh, your 
favorite painter, your inspire where do you, you know, get that inspiration from? I mean, most artists will have someone that they kind of gravitate towards or, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to say emulate, but they, you know, yeah. Do you have a favorite? Yeah. Caravaggio. Okay. Caravaggio was my absolute favorite Italian painter. I got to see his work in person in Italy. I got to recreate it, you know, because we, we had to go. One of the things we did as students is we would bring our supplies and sit in the museum in okay. front of a piece of your choosing and paint it. Repaint really? it right there with everybody watching you. That's so, yeah. Intense. Yeah. That's intense. <laughs> it, it is intense because you're on display doing it. But yeah. um I, I did them. I still have those pieces. They hang in my house. And um he was he was such a master of storytelling in his art. What I was mm -hmm. just talking about. You know, he goes deep. There's a lot of stuff hidden in there. And his the thing that he really, really made popular was um a technique called Chiara Scudo. He was my favorite thing. It's the ex it's the use of extreme lights and darks. So okay. a lot of his paintings are almost black, almost black. But you see this, you see this focal point yes. in there. You know, yes. it's very black, and then there's this thing that's the focus, and that's such a great technique because it tells the viewer a lot. It tells you what's important, what you should be looking at, and what you should be searching for in right. those shadows. What's in there? Why is it dark? There's got to be a reason. There must be something in there. Something so he goes searching for it, yes. Yeah. And I think that in my, my resurrection piece, where I that is pure chiaroscuro right there okay. that I did. I mean, mm -hmm. I went right back to everything I ever learned in Italy for that piece, where I just lit him, I lit Rocky, and everybody fades around him into yep. darkness. And if you look very, very closely, you'll see the guys, the fans who were heckling him. Him. You remember the guys who were heckling him in that opening yeah. scene? You're a bum. You're a you know yeah, all, yes. all those people. Those are those are the bad guys. The bad guys. You know, so yeah, I yep. put them in the shadows because that's where they belong. You know, right. you search for them. So that's the kind of like it should be so thought out when you do a painting. It should be so yes. thought out. It's not about you know taking the picture of the Rocky Three poster and just like side by side. There it is. Sure. Okay. Right. Yeah. Great. Good job. You know, but. You know, I'm not going to stop and spend time on that. I need to. Right. Yeah. You know, it's like, what did you bring to it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I love your that's passion. Good. That's amazing. I mean, that's just. I love that. Yeah. That's, that's why it, it, when I do do one, there's a reason why I'm doing it. You know. Okay. I don't, I don't just wake up and say, "What am I going to paint today?" It's like. Yeah. Right. Right. There's got to be something there. It's a very long process. Yeah, it is. I'm searching. So, for as everybody it. knows, everybody knows Rocky Day was this past weekend. And John John brought this beautiful piece oh, to the Rocky it. store. Love it. <laughs> and what, what made you want to pick that piece to the store, John? Just because it's the steps. He's at the top of the steps. Or was there more to uh, it than that? A couple things. One, um, one, it fit the space. <laughs> <laughs> Two, yes, it's it's Philly all the way. It's him on top sure. of the steps, but it's all that graffiti and street Ooh. art. Philly yep. is known as the number one street art city in the world. Really? Oh, wow. as it should be, because if you if you start moving around the city and taking a look and look up, you will see the most amazing murals. I mean, real murals, okay. not this like thrown together crap. I mean, stuff right. that could be in a museum in Italy on these brick walls, right? Beautiful stuff. So I wanted to bring that because they're really known for their graffiti as well. And, and uh, maybe most importantly, that is Nick's favorite painting of mine. So okay. I wanted to bring it okay. in. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Makes sense. Yeah. No, it perfectly, perfectly worked out. It's beautiful. Yeah. So Let's that original painting hangs in there so that people can see, you know, one of my original pieces. That's going to fly now, too. It's called. Beautiful. Okay. And then uh, a yeah. couple other shots here in the store with the merchandise, obviously. Um, it was a rainy day. But yes, it was it's actually getting strong now too. Yeah, but look at all those people, see, right? That was a beautiful shot. I remember people. that. Yeah, I mean, it's just they were all the way at the top of the steps to the uh, front of the podium. Can you imagine it if it was a nice day? Oh, oh I know. God, yeah. yeah Did, have you slide have any of you guys seen any of the pictures from the drone? No, no, 
I haven't. No? Okay. Okay. So, John, you obviously had a lot more behind the scenes than the average person. There we are with Sly at the statue himself. Yeah. I love that photo. Look at that. I mean, that's it doesn't get better than that. (laughs) No, that's that's, it's just a beautiful (laughs) photo. I I, I always love seeing them. You know, because we have such a mutual respect as artists, you know, right. that's really what it's based on. It's just two artists who, 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 you know, respect each other's work and like to like to talk about art. That's really what what it mostly is, you know, which is perfect. For and, me. The, and, and the and the fact that he's talking about your art and his art because he created Rocky and he created the, 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 yeah. what you're doing. Um, yeah. It, yeah, it must be surreal. It really must be just. It's like the yeah, perfect like, match to collaborate with, like. Your your boyhood idol, yeah. Too. I mean, I know you're well past that, but yeah. in the beginning, there had to have been some fanboy in there, you know. For sure, yeah. Listen, I still remember the first time I, I I met him. You know, I mean, I had seen him at events. You go, you stand outside, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the first time I met him, and it was really quite amazing um, because I got to meet him as more of um, colleague. Yeah. Than fanboy, which was great because MGM brought me to him. Okay. Introduced me as this is our Rocky aficionado. We flew him in from New York uh, because this is for, I mean, when you talk about how I, how I got to be the official Rocky artist, I mean, this is the story. I, I knew MGM had Rocky mm-hmm. and they were a client. I was already doing work for them. I was doing Pink Panther. I was doing RoboCop. Different, different things for them. And I remember saying, listen, if you guys ever do anything with Rocky, um, please call me. You know, okay. I'll bring a nice. lot to this. Trust me. And they didn't <laughs> nice. know yet. They didn't know sure. yet. You know? Yeah. Um, and, 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 and I did that for years, guys. Years. Yeah. Uh, they sat on that. But I just kept every so often when I was talking about something else, I would throw it in, throw it in. And <laughs> That's then, awesome. And then it was coming up to the 35th anniversary. Uh-huh. And they came to me and said, okay, here's your moment. So I had to create a whole collection of artwork just to commemorate Rocky. Yeah. Just because there was a big anniversary coming. So I sure. did all okay. of this art. And um, what I didn't know is that they were planning a surprise for me so that when I was done, they were going to fly me out and let me present all this art to slide. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that's how I got in front of them. They flew oh. me out. I got changed in the car that they picked me up in, you know, after the flight, went right to Sly's office in Beverly Hills. I set up all the art on the table and then I just waited, you know, with the MGM people. Yeah. And, and I, I tell this story, I've told it before, but I'll never forget what I, the first impression was I heard his voice. He was talking <laughs> as he was coming down the hallway and that deep baritone voice, yeah, when you yeah. hear it in person, it is so strong. It, it, it just <laughs> resonates, you know? And I just heard him. I said, he's here. Yeah. He's, here. he's coming. <laughs> he's coming. And I remember I was looking straight out the door down this long hall, and then he just came and he turned down this hall and just started coming towards us. Oh. And that's when MGM introduced me as the official. Yeah. We just, we got right into it as artists. It wasn't like, oh, I'm a fan. Oh, my God, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're my guy, and I, I want to be you. None of that nonsense, you know? It was like right. all about art. He was looking at the art. He liked the art. Then he was asking me questions. How did you do this? How did you achieve this texture in the painting? And I'm thinking, I remember I called my dad that night. I'm like, yeah, Rocky was asking me how I did something. <laughs> like, dad, just so you know. He you know how I painted something. But there's that mutual respect between artists. Absolutely. Because I know. knew his work too. And he, you know, to me, he's an amazing painter. I, oh, yeah. I love his stuff. I would give anything to have one of his pieces. You know, I just love that style, that abstract, um, impressionistic kind of sure style that he has. That's got to um, go and, and mean even more to you, though, John. Not only was he he respecting your work because you you did, you took the essence of Rocky put it where he's, but also to hear him from a technical artist point of view. So you got the best yeah. of both worlds getting compliments. That just had to be remarkable. It was as good as it could be. It was none of this. I'm a sure. huge fan. I've seen every movie. I, yeah. I didn't have to do any of that. And if you take that out of the equation, it's a great way to meet your hero. Oh it's yeah. A great oh my God, way. Sure. You know, here's, so uh, we, here's we, a shot of John and Sly when they did meet. That was the first time there. 
Yeah, so so was, well, uh, this was after. This was actually after. So that story I just told you was the 35th, and then the 40th came around, and MGM oh, came back the, the 40th. Okay. to do another art program for the 40th. And that photo that you just showed was right after I finished it. I had just finished it. And a month before that photo, I ran into Sly. And he actually asked me to do that painting. He asked for oh, that wow. one. You know, he showed me the space that it was going to hang. And he talked about it. And it was his concept. It was his okay. idea to have Rocky larger than life, you know, standing above the city and, and whatnot. Right. There it is. That was his concept. And, and he, he was talking me through it. And he's like, you know, so you want to do it? And I'm like, there's nobody better. So I'll do it. I was cringing that I said that. I couldn't, <laughs> believe, it. I couldn't believe I said it, but I didn't know what else to say. It just came yeah, out. Sure. It just came out, you know. Um, but uh, so I went back to New York. I painted that and flew out. And that was the day that I was bringing it to him. And it just so happened that the paparazzi was there. Track okay. Over. So that's Dragon. why that whole moment was filmed. They just happened right. to be there. But you can see how happy he is. He yeah. was so happy as an artist with yeah. that. No, Look at him. He, he's so happy with that. I remember that. That's what I remember most about that day was the look on his face, you know. And I thought, boy, I'd like to do that a lot if I could if I could make him. If you that understand, yeah, absolutely. And he took God. that and he hung it in the space. And then he asked me for two more. He's like, do wow. two more, one on each side. And that's when the, you know Cafe Roma had those three paintings. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, why yeah. they were there. And and then people were contacting me asking how they could get prints of them or something. And that's how sure. icons and art came to be. I started thinking there might be something here, you yeah. know, rather than me just doing this, you know, for Sly and to hang, maybe we can get them to the fans as well. And that's yeah. why that's why I started icons and art and do the you know the limited edition prints of all that stuff that you see there but that was the very first one that one million to one shot and uh he has that one that one he has in his house Does and, he? Uh, yeah and i i still love that piece i i just it's perfect it's rocky because yeah. i remember the one thing i brought to the table when he was describing that is i said can i please just put him in the leather because that's rocky rocky's yeah. the guy on the dock right. with the wall you know people think he's a bum that's rocky that's what we all right. connect with you know we're we're that guy looking for that one shot we just want our one shot right so yep. that was the one thing i brought so i still love that painting to death i i just am so pleased with it and yeah it's funny when i was packing it the guy in the fedex store was like how come he's not holding the ball <laughs> and like, hey you knew about it <laughs> son of a bitch so if you see the ball is in there I, oh, I, no, didn't really? Ship it. Is it really? I didn't I didn't ship it. It's in, it's in the hand on a slice side. Okay. I went home, I got black paint and a brush, and I ran back to the FedEx <laughs> store and I painted in the ball, let it dry, and then shipped oh it. Oh my god, that's funny. Like, that's... You're right, the ball should be there. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> the How random FedEx thing? guy made the difference. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's exactly you know what's right. so endearing about sly the fact is you know uh, just a little bit here um a lot of stars who will portray an iconic character will tend to try to gravitate away from that character yeah they don't want to be just you know known as that but he embraces it who wouldn't i know i mean you know I mean, i'm thinking of other other actors who are like no i don't want to be known as just batman or I don't want to be known as this. He just embraces it. Well, and you like know, you just said, why wouldn't the, you? Millions of people adore him. And one of the big differences there that you just said is those are actors playing a role. He created the character. Yeah, yeah. Right. They didn't create Batman. They didn't create yeah. the Terminator. They didn't create those things. He right. created it. So it's a different attachment. So you Absolutely. gotta imagine it's like me with my first painting. You bet I'm gonna embrace it. Yeah, I don't yeah. care what anybody says, yeah. I love that piece. And I'm and I can only put myself in his shoes that if I created Rocky, you bet I'd embrace it. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful character. It's it's clearly the the biggest pop culture icon character of all time. So right. 
Uh, yeah, I, I would run towards it, not away. And you were, and you were, you know, obviously you were there. We were there for, um, you know, Rocky Day. People yeah. are yelling Rocky. Rocky. You That's know, they're, right. They're he's yelling walking Rocky. By, he's working and by high people. And yeah, they're Rocky, Rocky. Then he's just he's one in the same. Way. That's what they see him as. Yeah. Ro- to do. them, Rocky's real. Rocky's the real person yeah. to the fans, you know? And it, w- it was a great day, wasn't it? I mean, it was uh, an amazing the, day. The energy in that plaza. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh my God. And it didn't matter how that it was raining. It didn't nope. matter when he got there. And it just, people went nuts. And it was like, if you weren't there, I felt sorry for you because that yeah. was the place to be, you know? Oh, God. Was. I mean, yeah. any Rocky fan that is a, a fan or a super fan. Yeah. Or any, any, I mean, absolutely. That was, that's why Rick and I were I'm like, there's no way we're missing this. Yeah. No way we're missing this for the world. It was absolutely just wonderful. And, you know, to the credit of, of the shop, Sly Stallone shop, yeah. put that on, put that event on. And you we know. had, Tony and I had a lot of thank yous come our way because we were live feeding when we could. And when I was getting them. I haven't really discussed this so much with Tony, but, you know, just kind of going back and looking through stuff. From all over the world, mm-hmm. thanking me for live feeding that so that yeah. they could see it because they were unable to be there. You yeah. know, I'm like it's my pleasure, my God, you know. Yeah. No, I ship art all over the world. Yeah. All over the world. And and it's funny, I, I think I ship the most to the UK, by the way. Yeah. So That's crazy. That must be a real rocky land. That's yeah. all I can say. I I've been there many times on buying trips. But I, I wasn't looking through those eyes. But mm-hmm. boy, that must be some rocky place. I, I, in fact, I think I mentioned that I now have a store in the UK that is carrying my artwork. Exclusively. Like brick and mortar? Yeah, brick and mortar. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, Retro by Ronnie, it's called. You should okay. look it up on Facebook. Yes. Retro by Ronnie. And um, Ronnie approached me. He and his brother, and they wanted to do this thing, and we've been working on it for months. And he just, I think, about a month ago, um, opened it, premiered it, and um, you know, it's doing really, really well. That's well, it seems like, like you just said, with the with the the fan base there, why wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. you've got beautiful pieces. You know, if you could walk into a into a brick and mortar and be like, look at all the look at all, you know. Yeah, the Rivalies. <laughs> yeah, He'd be like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, he's got them all. It would be crazy. Lined up and stuff. Nice. It's it's really impressive. He did an amazing job. I'm gonna have to go over there at some point. I should do an art show in the UK. I mean, that is just, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I said, I, I think that's where I sell the most art is the UK. Really? I think it's amazing. So. Well, I'm sure, I mean, you you see on the shop like whenever the shop posts the slice the loan shop. I'm sorry, just calling it the shop. Yeah. Um, Whenever they post something new, if they have a new item in the comments, easy dozen, two dozen comments. Mm-hmm. Do you ship to Brazil? Do you ship yeah. to mm-hmm. Australia? Where, wherever. Yep. yep. I mean, and 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 to the shop's credit, they answer everybody. Oh, for you know, sure. Yeah. Yes, we do, or no, we don't. There's you know not many, though no, they don't, but yes, we do, or no, we don't, or whatever. But they do answer them. You know, they go and answer them right there. And and uh, I think the goal is to get Rocky stuff to everybody who wants it. Like we sure. want, to, we want every house to have Rocky in it. Yeah. You know, I know every I every house to be a better place if Rocky was so in it, right? Come on, absolutely. That's all. So, what's the so what's awesome. the um, what's the future plans? You know, can you are you are you able to discuss or shed some shed some light on that? I have a I have a couple With of the, big, the, like, I have a couple of big things cooking that I'm I'm working on that aren't finalized. Um, to the point where I can announce, but okay. uh, I have something planned for the 50th anniversary that I'm I working saw. on now uh, with MGM. We're just going through some of the details. So there'll be something okay. there. And when that's for real, I'll come back and we'll, we'll chat about it. Oh yeah. Perfect. And Perfect. I'm in, I'm in final negotiations with um, golden boy productions. Oh yeah. To do, okay. Yeah. To do a crossover thing. Oh, so okay. that's, that's close as well. So when that's done, I'll let you guys know too. So there's a couple of big things happening. Okay. Sweet. On the heels of that, I just found out. I'm sorry, Tony. Um, no, no, go ahead. On the go heels ahead. of that, I just just found out that, uh, well, you know Stitch, Stitch Duran? Yeah. He's going to be at the Boxing Hall of Fame. Oh, wow. Uh, this coming, this com- well, this coming year. 
to, yeah. I think he's being inducted. I just heard about it. Amazing. Looking forward to yeah, meeting him. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did meet him once uh, on Creed Two. Yeah, super nice guy. Yeah, I'm very much for looking forward to him seeing him again. Oh, that's great. So, is yeah. there any any up, upcoming stuff for the shop that you're allowed to discuss yet, John, or is that still kind of being discussed and in the wraps, and then we'll find out later? No, well, I, I you know, as far as it relates uh, to me, uh, you know, the line of clothing with my art is is something upcoming and exciting. The love piece that I did, you may mm -hmm. know the the, the oh, love yeah. piece. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's being used on a lot of different things. You know, you probably saw it in the sh in the store. Yeah. They have mugs and shirts. Yeah, I saw I saw yep. Christmas or ornaments today. So that's going to be a big a big. Oh, you piece. did. Yeah, for them. Um, and then more action figures, more statues. Nice, cool yeah. statues. Cool statues are coming. <laughs> iconic, iconic moments that are captured in oh, skulls. Man. Oh, man are coming, you know, so oh you guys God. are going to really, really love it. And, and, and if you notice, this is something that Nick did. He went out and got the rights to Converse. So we're the only ones with Converse sneakers yep. on our statues, right? Yeah, right? We got the rights to tough wear. We're the only ones really? with tough wear on the gloves. And now he's working on another thing. So you get this other one and we will be in a league of our own wow. when it comes to oh, and figures and statues. So yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. The level of just accuracy. Yeah. Right. That's, what, that's what they're going for. So you know, you should buy your sculpts and figures from from those guys because they're the real deal. You know, yeah. oh, it's, it's, that's, that's a no-brainer. I mean, you know, they, yeah. they, they, you get what you pay for with the other ones. Not only yeah. are they crappy quality, but they're the likeness is nothing. The, like you right. just said, the gloves don't have a band on them. They'll just have a white rectangle. Yeah. But, you know, or they'll, or they'll say Rocky. Or, or yeah. they'll say Rocky. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, but yeah. the tough wear on there, that's huge. That's yeah. great. You and know? let's face it. Years that's all we could get, though. Exactly. They want that authenticity. They want it to yeah. be. Because the real fans are going to look at it and be like, oh, that's really cool. Well, how come his gloves don't say tough wear? Or yeah. Whatever you know, Everlast yeah. on the shorts. And, and you know what? And you know what the advantage is is that having access to Sly, we can ask questions, mm -hmm. and we can also see the stuff that he still has and photograph oh, wow. it, and be able to get it down to the stitch count of what it looks like when you look at the shamrock <laughs> thing on the back of the robe. So when we do things like that, it'll be dead on accurate. That's amazing oh, because we have access to the man and all the That's stuff. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, well, amazing well, stuff. Do you think you'll be having a booth set up or a tent at the next? Will there be a next Rocky Day? Are you? I don't know. I don't, you don't I, know. I don't know. Um, what what I was trying to accomplish there is that, um, and I think Sly touched on this, that the museum would love for more people to come inside. Right. Okay. Sure. All the fans come there, they run up the step, they run up to the front door, basically, and, and they leave. turn it up. So what I was talking to the museum about was, well, why don't we do a Rocky art exhibit in here? Let me bring my original paintings and yeah. give these fans a reason to come inside. Yeah. Turn them in to see that and then let them walk through the rest of the museum. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So that is what my great idea. That's what my goal is. I would I, I talked to a few of the folks and I'm going to continue those discussions. I think that that's a no-brainer, you yeah. know, to have a Rocky art exhibit, I, I think. So if I can make that no, happen. I agree. That's and what like I you said, once you get in the building, you know, you start walking around. My daughter yeah. and I were in New York a couple months ago. She wanted to go to the Modern Museum of Art. I don't really care for modern art. I didn't think yeah. I did. Right. And when we're walking around in there and she's showing me this show. And, you know, Sophia and you talked in L.A. about That's art. Good, she has yeah. Love your art Love your daughter. She's, she's a piece of work. Yeah. She's telling me about this art. She's like, oh, daddy, look at this here. And he has the, you know, he's explaining it to me, Pollock. Yeah. And, and, you know. I like, I wound up getting into it because I was already in the building seeing things I've never seen. That's exactly sure. it. So I, I'm I'm hoping that I can just uh, you know translate those fans into customers into the museum to get them in. Sure. What because a great should, idea. Yeah, they should go in yeah. and see the art that's in there. Their art is magnificent, and you know you are so fulfilled uh, spiritually when you expose yourself to great art 
and it's right there. So you, those guys, sh- the fans should be going inside, you sure. know, go inside and see this art. So if I can do anything to help that happen, that's yeah. what I'm trying to do. Yeah, you could awesome. definitely be that bridge. That's what I'm hoping. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Well, speaking of the museum, I don't know how much, you know, information you can get, but you had, there was a, an event inside the museum that oh, yes. um, most yes. of us didn't know about. Yeah, there was a reception in the museum after all the festivities outside uh, for a select few uh, uh, folks. Nice. Um, and, uh, you know, it, Sly was there. He gave another address to the crowd talking about art and things and uh, got to meet some different people. Um, nice. You know, it was food. It was a whole thing. It was nice. Yeah, nice. people walking around with, with drinks and stuff like that. Um, and it was really just an opportunity for him to meet some more uh, folks. Um, did you know who was there that um, I forgot his first name? O'Neill, the guy who killed bin Laden. Yes. He was there. Yes. Oh, oh, the Marine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what's his first name? Oh, I forget God. his name. It, it's, uh, his his handle is like M- Mc, McUA or something or Uwa for the Marines. I know, I know yeah. who you're talking about. Though. Yeah, yes. he was there. That's pretty awesome, you know. And of course, yeah. Chevy. Chevy Chase was there. Right. Which was a complete shock. Huge I, shock. What's even yeah. more shocking is I wound up in a car with him driving around. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Did you really? Between taking our photos and that uh, reception event, you know, yeah. that he drove to, to the back, I, yeah. some, I somehow wound up in that car with him and Patrick and <laughs> driving to that event. So that was a lot of fun. I saw your post on that today. And I think yeah. I, I commented, I'm like, two legends in one day. How did I you know, sleep? Right? <laughs> How did you sleep? <laughs> exactly. Because I'm a huge heavy. I mean, Fletch. Uh, Fletch yeah. is here. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, John. So when when Chevy was up under the tent and yeah. the, the, they were starting to do the picture taking it. Yeah, I was there with them. Yeah. Right. I'm yelling, Fletch! Fletch. Fletch. I love Fletch. <laughs> Me and too. Fletch oh I'm my god. Fletch. And I couldn't, I don't know if he's just you know ignoring or couldn't hear, yeah. but I'm like I gave it a couple of shots. But you yeah, know, one of my one of my favorite cool. characters of his, Fletch. Yeah, it's so yeah. great! Oh my god! And of yeah. course, Christmas Vacation. If you're yeah. a Christmas fan, which I am, a huge Christmas fan. Yeah, meet Clark Griswold. Okay, oh. <laughs> yeah. okay. Pretty good day. Well, right over there. As, as big <laughs> as that was, and all the people that were there. And, and by the way, the gentleman's name was Robert O'Neill. That that uh, the Marine. Robert, that was that's him. it. That's him. Um, I didn't want to disrespect him by just saying. No, <laughs> no. I'm. Uh, at, I told the shop guys because they know him. I'm like, get his information because I'm sending him art. Like, yeah, I'm just sending him art. That's you know? awesome. I mean, that's a that's a treasure. We want to thank that guy for what he did. Oh yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. So, but as big yeah. as Rocky Day was, I mean, they could really. They, the balls in their court. I mean, they could have it be. They could combine it with the Rocky Run and and uh, art art museum and make it a two three day event. And Rocky heads around the world would flock to it. Oh, I I, I, I think that I think it would be too much for the Rocky. You've already got fourteen thousand plus people. If you <laughs> find out slides, like I think that gets out of control and it's total. <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen. You know. That's you awesome. know. You, you're right. It, 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 let me, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you're absolutely right because I was standing in the one area where the line started for the pictures to go with Sly, and then he they had to usher him past me for this picture so he can yeah. cut the ribbon in front of the store. The only entrance way was where I was standing, so I had to move back, and they were pushing back the the great you know, the barrier. Now yeah. I tell you, I mean I'm not a small person, <laughs> and I was holding on to that thing for dear life, and people were pushing. The police, yeah. the security was like everybody. They just they lost control of themselves. They just wanted to touch him. They wanted to just Absolutely. touch his shoulder or touch his hand. That's for it's sure. Amazing. Yeah. So you got to be so careful. A lot could go wrong. In oh, yeah. You're right. That, You're that, right. You don't think of it like that sometimes. A lot could go wrong. So you know when when it goes as well as it did, you got to really give um, props to the guys who organized it. You know because oh, they, absolutely. Pulled, they pulled off a really successful and safe. Oh event absolutely absolutely it was perfect so yep well john we couldn't thank you enough for being on man i, I mean this was great stories great yeah. stuff and and we're looking forward to more yes like thank you, you. Thank more you to come, more, uh, yeah we'll to have some more on the show and 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 discuss more later absolutely my pleasure i learned a lot from you tonight <laughs> i really did i really did i mean i took art in college and stuff like that and yeah just this vector is, that was very very interesting the insight on that was huge. 
Thank I you. Loved it. Thank loved you. It. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're, well, you're very welcome. You know the problem for all your artwork. You know what the problem is, Rick? That I didn't know at the time because it was all happening so fast. It yeah, was the right. wild. It was the wild west when computers first hit, and you yeah. got to Photoshop and those things. It was really the wild west. What I found out shortly after creating what I did is that. I could have patented it and licensed the technology oh. to every movie studio out there. To this day, I mean, you know, that's like money that you can't even imagine. That oh I'm yeah, sure. oh, but there's a, there's a, like a statute of limitations on using right. something, and if you use it for too long, it becomes out there. Public domain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I I could have changed. My life. There would have been a lot of zeros attached to that. <laughs> it changed my life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, he still, he still got I mean, a pretty good good life, giving us all the rocky art that you give us. Yeah. So, great. Happy. I'm, ha I'm happy every day when I get up and I do what I do. Very happy. Well, you know, you're like doing you stuff you love. It still yeah. does not work. Yeah, you know it's that old saying: if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. That's Absolutely. exactly it. I mean, I'm I'm doing this stuff until I can't do it every day. You know, it's yeah, like right. 16, 17 hours, and then I just collapse. But <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to stop or I lose light, you know, and I can't do yeah, it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, like you said, John, we couldn't thank you enough and we'll definitely have you on again to talk about future projects once they're thank released. So much. Great. I look forward to that. Thank you. Guys. Right. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming on. Thank yes, you. Thank you very much. Wow. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> what a great, great guy. Love him. I mean, him and I, him and I started talking years ago. We were chatting about images and posters, this and that. And, you know, we just kind of clicked and hit it off. And when I met him at the LA in, uh, LA uh, event, I, I just felt like I knew him already for like 20 years. Plus, he's from he's from Jersey, not really where I'm from, but he did hang out in one of the malls where I used to hang out. He hung, he hung out in Monmouth Mall. So I, okay. I'm a, I was up in Middletown area, so a little further to him. Okay. So, you know, kind of connection. But, yeah, yeah, super great guy. I mean, he's, uh, you know, knowledgeable about – he, he doesn't just put anything rocky out there, like you said. He doesn't just copy – a, a magazine cover or a poster right. or a scene. So right. couldn't be happier. Thank you so much again, John, for coming on. We'll definitely have him on again. And uh, Love to. this was a great part one of our, uh, our little weekend. Oh. So. Yeah. What a great <laughs> kickoff, right? Right. We're, we'll, we'll get see into everybody our... next week. We'll be talking more about Rocky day. We'll talk about our, our road trip to Philly and see all that. And Tony more to come. excellent adventure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> We'll see you next week, everybody. Take care. Yep. Yeah, thanks for showing up.